Remarkably, John Sullivan wrote all 64 episodes of Only Fools and Horses single-handedly. And his original scripts are precious collector's items. Chairman of the Only Fools Appreciation Society, Perry Agajanov, has been collecting material from the show for nearly 30 years. And David Jason has joined him to look through some of the scripts that were used by the cast and crew. Well, we've got a little collection of scripts here. Losing Streak script there. Is this an original script? Uh, yeah, that's John Sullivan's copy, actually. Because I've got here some edits already. So what they never saw was social security. Don't you go using words like that to me, Trig. It's cruel. It's like saying Paxo to a turkey. <laughs> yeah, some lovely stuff. This is lovely. Look, Ray, John would like this back afterwards. Yeah. John always kept the original because anything that was cut, he might be able to uh, rebuild into another mm. script. We're looking at these scripts and the thickness of them, and then one day, that lands on your doormat. Oh, Hull them oh, back. Yeah. And the sheer depth of the script. How did it feel at that time to be taking it from a 30-minute slot to, what, an hour and a half? Yeah. It was what John and I had been angling for for some time because we were throwing more stuff away than other good comedies had got in their entire episode. They kept saying, no, it's 30 minutes, it's 30 minutes. Every sitcom uh, is 30 minutes. I had a long discussion with John Sullivan and we decided that we'd go and put a gun to the head of the light entertainment department and said that either they give us more time or basically John would withdraw his writing talents. So, and this was it Sorry. that arrived at last, something this size, and it was a joy to behold because uh, we knew that now John was writing with, uh, with much more elbow. Room. The plot to rival any Hollywood heist movie to Hull and back saw the trotters diversify from market trading to diamond smuggling as they set sail to Amsterdam for their highest stakes deal to date. It's such a funny idea and it's so in character of Uncle Albert with all his tales, seafaring tales, he's finally tested. <laughs> We had to go out to the gas rigs, and after about four hours, there were two actors and the makeup department left who weren't seasick. You're sick, Del. Oh, oh, leave it out, you tart. We've only just started. You could not believe what was coming off the side of this boat. Oh, God. Buster, I'm afraid, played a very good salty sea dog, but unfortunately, in real life, wasn't the case at all. Oi! Oi! John! Holland! What? Which way to Holland? Holland? It's over there! Cheers, pal! The day before, we flew out to the rigs to have a look at, at the shots and what we could use. And somebody on, on the rig said, so, so what are you doing? And we told them, we said, the gag is that we, we go out to the rig and say, well, you're right for Holland. So that's funny, isn't it? And this guy went, well, that happens quite often, actually. Well, Rodney, see? Don't know the way, you just got to ask someone, haven't you? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 